I did help you out. Still can't drive. Oh, gosh, yes, of course. Uh, that's a pity. Yeah, pity. Could have done with the money at the mini. Kid stuff. Uh, expensive. Oh, well, maybe I could help you out with that, with baby clothes and toys, if you like. You never learn. You are. I'm talking to her, not you. <sighs> Welcome back, Debbie. Told you about Alex, has she? No. No, she's got a thing for farmhands. Although this one was very special. But I know you're upset, but we have spent a long time trying to come to terms with what happened and getting over it. But she would know if you had any interest in your family or your kids. Well, maybe my dad's just a little bit more tolerant than I am. Sounds like everybody's more tolerant than you. I don't know. It's okay, Nick. Except about your own kids. You don't mind them lying or, or blaming other people, do you? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'd keep an eye on him if I was you. Congratulations, by the way. You know, I feel sorry for you. You bring unhappiness wherever you go. Hey, John, the phone. Everything okay? Need to get into work. Got a feed delivery. How are you getting in? Uh, Rowan is driving in that direction. She's going to give me a lift. That's who I was talking to. Great. Going to avoid your half sister? I'm not creeping around her if that's what you mean. She was very angry and rude. Yeah, no surprise. Still. Still what? Well, she's very suspicious of Moira. Not my problem. <laughs> I never said it was. Better go. So, you don't think Moira was acting weird then? Not really. She did one day's work for you. Why is she so bothered about you repaying the favour? Are you being paranoid? That's what they always say. Except this time they'd be right. Look, we're okay, yeah? Yeah, of course we are. Sorry. 